We're gonna be tier listing every single map for Overwatch 2 Reinhardt ranked. The maps in order. Okay, we're gonna be tier listing every single map for Reinhardt. Well, no, as is like you absolutely have to play Rhine. A is Rhine is extremely strong. B is Rhine is good. C is Rhine is hard. But playable Ds don't play Rhine. Okay, it makes sense, right? Everyone follow the system we have going. Everyone make makes sense, right? So we're gonna start with uh, King of the Hill maps. I'm gonna put uh, Busan in the C tier. I think Busan is the worst King of the Hill map for Reinhardt. Absolutely. Busan is really bad. I hate Busan. Thank God it's not in the game this season, but I, I really find Busan very hard. Ex especially Sanctuary. Everything's so open. No space to kite, no corners. GG. Really bad map. Really bad map. What about push maps? We'll get to push map soon. We'll get to push map. So, Busan is a really bad map for Ryan, right? Then we go to the second bad map for Ryan Ilios. I would say Ilios is the same. I really don't like playing Ryan on Ilios. But I, I would put Ilios on B tier actually, because I think Ruins is really bad for Ryan, but sometimes Ryan is fine. Like, it's kind of a mixed bag on Ilios. Sometimes you do a lot, sometimes it's impossible to do anything. You know, like, it, it, it kind of depends. But uh, definitely the B tier for Il Ilios. It's better than Busan, but not the best king of the hill map. Then uh, we go to Nepal. Right, we were in Nepal, guys. Nepal is S tier. Every single point on Nepal is very good for Ryan. The hardest point is Shrine, again, but it's it's an extremely good map for Ryan. E extremely good map for Reinhardt guy. Very good. Every single point is good, especially village is GGF. You go Mesu. Just uh, force your teammates to go Mesu Metro, and then TP the point on village. You can't lose. I promise you. Then Oasis. I would say Oasis A tier. I think Garden and University are god tier maps for Rhino, but uh, City Center, yeah, that's the name of City Center is kind of 50s, it can be really hard, that's why it's not S, it's A tier. But I still like Oasis for Reinhardt. Then let's go to Li Jiang Tower. I would say this used to be my favorite Rhine map in the game, it changed. It changed. Li Jiang, I mean, everyone thinks of Li Jiang iconic Rhine map, you know? There's one iconic Ryan map too, but everyone loves Lee Chang. Lee Chang is good for Ryan. Every single point is good for Ryan. Even Garden is good for Ryan. So I, I, would, I would say it's one of the best Ryan maps in the entire game. Also, left side means it's better in the tier than right side. And then we go to the new map, Antarctica. I don't know if you guys have played this map a lot. I've played it like 20 times, close to now. And I can without a doubt say I love this map for Ryan. I would say it's the best King of the Hill map for Reinhardt, absolutely. It's really good. Every single point is so close quarters. Except the inside map is a bit odd. But, I mean, it's close between Antarctica and Li Jiang. I would say over time, I think Antarctica will be better than Li Jiang. But for now, maybe Li Jiang over Antarctica anyway. Because I haven't played the map. I've only played it 20 times and I've played Li Jiang like 5,000 times maybe. So Antarctica is definitely a good Rhine map. And I think that's every King of the Hill map, right? Yeah, that's six king of the hill maps. That's all of them. Busan versus one, Ilios bad, Oasis is like good, and these are god tier maps. Then we move on to Hybrid. Let's start with a new map, Paraiso. I hate Paraiso for Ryan. First point just feels so weird. Second point and third point are fine, but I would say Paraiso is the worst Hybrid map for Reinhardt in the entire game. Like, it's, it's just. It's just a horrible map. It's it's a it's a horrible map for Reinhardt. On the first point, you can still make it work, and it's pain and suffering. That's why it's not in D tier. You can win, but it's really hard to play first point. I mean, you can watch the stream how I played, but it's still hard. Then we go to uh, Blizzard World. Blizzard World is a classic B tier map. Blizzard is like I feel like Blizzard World in the game is like the iconic mid tier map. Why is it better than Busan? Because you have a payload. You don't have a payload on Busan. You know? That's why it's better. Like, if you have a payload, that automatically makes Reinhardt good. Because you can see on the payload. But uh, Blizzard World to me is like the bottom of mid map. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just there. Like, 
This Edward is literally just an iconic map of like not good, not bad. I think a lot of people agree with that too. It's like I don't hate it, I don't love it, it's just a map. So that's there. Let's go for Eichenwald next. I would put Eichenwald in S tier or A tier. I feel like A tier is better than Eichen. I can because on Eichen sometimes you can get fucked on second point attack. So that's why it's A tier. I, I can't say Icon is a better Rhine map than a, a Li Chang Tower, Antarctica, or Nepal. It's, it's, I think it's an A map. Like, otherwise, it's a god tier Rhine map, except when you have to attack second point, it gets really hard. If enemy is playing well, it gets really, really awkward and hard. So, Icon is an A map. Everything else would be S tier, except attacking second point is like C tier. So, it has to go to A. You know, then we go to Hollywood. I would put this is a hard one. I, I think I would put Hollywood on B tier, like really low B tier, close to C tier. Because second point is just really bad for Ryan. I think first point and third point really good, but second point is really hard for Reinhard. So it's you can make it work, but you have to do so many rotations, so many silly stuff that it, it, it belongs in B tier because of second point. A, a first point as tier, third point as tier. It's like a lot of these maps have a problem where Reinhardt just sucks on the second point. Everything else is good. But second point is like in every map, second point is hard for Reinhardt. Because second point is usually a lot of high grounds, open space. And then first point and third point are like inner corridors, close quarters. So second point is really hard. So that's why it's in B tier. Then we go to King's Row. King's Row, that's an S tier map. I honestly find King's Row a bit boring because I've played it 10 million times, but and I would I would say Li Chang is better than King's. Because like honestly, sometimes third point feels kind of hard for Ryan. You can't really do much on third point King's Row because everyone's on the high grounds. But it, it's still a good Ryan map, absolutely. Absolutely. So King's Row is an ass tier map. I like the map. It's fun, but Li Chang is still better. There's Third point is just like can be hard, but it's definitely I move in this map almost every time. So King's Row is a classic. Then let's go to another new map we have. Midtown. I think Midtown, Epitome of Mid, I'm gonna put it in the middle of B tier. Midtown is just like It's kinda like Blizzard World. Sometimes it's good. No, I would put it in I would put it in A tier, low A tier. I think that fits better because I, I I say I would say I have more success on Midtown than Blizzard World. So I, I I would boom it up to A tier. Like I have way more success on Midtown. Like it just feels a bit hard sometimes when enemies playing Chen Yedan spamming you, but you can make it work if you have speed boost and have good success because it's still a, it's still it's still a fun, it's still fun, super fun. And then do we have a hybrid map left? We do. We have Numbani. I would put Numbani on A tier as well, because I honestly believe like second point and third point are as tier Reinhardt maps. I mean points. Like I feel like really really strong about those, uh, but then it's like defending first point. I think attacking is fine too. You have so many different rotations and plays you can do. So Rhine is definitely strong in Numbani. But attacking first point can be hard. You can go under. You can go high ground. You just need a hit scan player. Like you need to have a hit scan player with Reinhardt on this map, so you can take high ground and press them. You know, so, and I think otherwise it's like S tier, like I said, second point, third point, but first point is a bit icky. But if you guys watch on the stream, you can see how I play different stuff you can do. But yeah. Hit scan means like Cassidy Soldier, Sojourn, uh, Widow, Ass, you know, when you click, it ha it fires. It's like a bullet, you know. And then that's every hybrid map, you know. So far, so every hybrid and King of the Hill. We have two maps in C tier, three in B, four in A, and four in S tier. So let's move on to my second favorite game mode, Payload. We have a lot of Payload maps in this game, so let's get straight into it. Let's go to Casino Royale. Circuit Royale. Let's go to Circuit Royale. I would put Circuit Royale in the middle of B tier. Because sometimes B tier is really... Sometimes I have a lot of fun, sometimes I don't have that much fun. It just depends what the enemy is playing. If enemy has like Orisa, Senyera, Torbjord, you can't do anything. 
But if enemy is playing like a Sigma comp with notes and it's really good. It's just like, it's a mixed bag. It's either really good or really bad. So I feel like it's B tier. It just all depends what your team plays and what enemy plays. Where's King's Row? It's on the top. So, Circuit Royale is a B tier map. Chunkit Town. I have biased I love Chunkit Town, so I put it on A tier. Next to Eichenwald or Oasis. Like, Chunkit Town seems pretty hard for Ryan. And the only, I truly believe the only hard part about I Chunkit Town is Reinhardt is first point attack. You just need to rely on your teammates a little bit. If you cap first, you're good to go. Defense, all points are fine. Attacking second point, fine. Attacking third point, fine. So, it's a fun map. Like, uh, Chunkit Town is just a fun map to play on Reinhardt because you have so many little flanks. So many corridors, you can do so many fun stuff, you can pin across the entire map to go on backlight. It's just, I personally find it a fun map to play. So, I I, I think it belongs in A tier. I And this is also one of my all at sleek maps I played, so it's definitely good. Dorado, D tier. We have our first D tier map. Do not play Ryan on Dorado. You can argue that sometimes I might play Ryan on first if I have to hold or just cap one point. But like second point... Dorado is the worst Rhine point in the entire game. Like, if you're talking about every single map in the game, every, even two CPs, King of the Hills, dead match map, second point is the worst. You simply can't do anything on second point. Second point defense, you can kind of stand on the point, but attack, it's unplayable. Like, it's so bad. If the high grounds are too far, you can't chase them. You can't move point, high ground are too strong. It's just GG, like, just don't play Ryan. This, this is the only time I would tell you to swap. So it's it's a D for Dorado. Unplayable. Watchpoint Gibraltar. You know what? A lot of people would say D tier, I'm gonna put it on C tier. I think if you're a pro Reinhardt, you can make Gibraltar work for Ryan. I think... I would say... I would say Watchpoint is way better for Ryan than Dorado. It's, it's C for Watchpoint. Like, it's really complicated. The map hasn't been in the game for two seasons. But, like, you can make it work. You have cool plays, cool flanks. Ryan defense is not even that bad if you have chokes. Third point is fine. And second point is way better for Ryan in Watchpoint than Dorado. Like, Dorado, I mean, Dorado is unplayable on second point. But Watchpoint Gibraltar, it's 100% better than Dorado. It's still really hard, but like C tier is like really hard maps, but you can make it work. Dorado, D remember, C tier, you can make it work really hard. D tier, don't even try. Don't even, don't even pick right, you know. So yeah, the C tier watch point. And then we go to my favorite map in the entire game, Rialto. This is a hard one, but I would put Rialto or King's Row. I think Lee Chang is still the best map. For Ryan, for now, out of the maps. I love Rialto. If you have a good loser, there's so many rotations you can do. Attack, you can go high ground, flank them, stay point. And where Ryan is really the strongest, I think one of the strongest map points in the entire game is defense first point. Like, you holding on point is so strong. And then you stalling in the hole is so strong. Like, Reinhardt on point is so strong on Rialto defense first point, second point, third point. You just cannot be passed. I love Reinhardt on defense, Duralto. Attack, you have rotation, so you can make it work. Is the second point problematic? Uh, even on second point, you can cross, like, you can cross and then you can play under the house. It's not too bad. Like, you just have to get over the bridge. You can even use an ult to cross the bridge, honestly. You can use, you can use an ult to cross, like, that's completely fine. It's, it's doable. I mean, just watch me play the map on stream and you can see how I deal with it as well, guys. But, I love Rialto. I think it's my favorite map in the entire game. Or Antarctica. I love Antarctica and Rialto. And then we go to Havana. I think Havana is low A tier. Ha Havana, Havana is a low A tier map for Reinhardt. You know, I... I it's, it's just like defending is fine on first, second, and third. Like defending is S tier on Havana. But it's like a lot of maps, attacking can be hard. But defending is very good. You hold spawn, you get three fights, you hold close. You know, it's it's a very strong play. You know, so A tier for Havana. Just on attack, you have to get very creative to win. Defense, you just sit on point like a lot of pillars. Root. I would put Root in low C tier. I hate Root. I just think Root is a complete DPS map. Tanks don't do anything. And that's why Reinhardt is C tier. You can make it work, but it's just a DPS map. Like literally, Root is one of the most DPS heavy maps in the entire game. 
like first point DPS carry, second point DPS carry, third point is the only point where you get the plenty game. Like straight up, I, I believe DPS just make root. Like it's just a DPS map. I mean, I'm sure you can say ball is good, but we're not talking about ball. Ball is fine everywhere because ball is ball, you know. But like, I, I believe that root is purely a DPS map. As long as your tank player does not feed and throw the game like a dumbass, root is DPS, all DPS. I hate root. I, I think it's, I would say root is my least favorite map in the entire game. I never have fun playing root. Except if I spawn hold, but it doesn't really work, you know what's too. It's just, uh, really my least favorite map. I'd rather play Dorado, because at least then I'm throwing on Jungle Queen or some shit. And then Shambhali. I actually love Shambhali. And ironically, I would put Shambhali over King's Row. I think a lot of people don't like Shambhali, but I have a lot of fun playing on Shambhali. I just think defense is so strong for Ryan. You AFK every corner. Like, you literally AFK on every corner in Shambhali. And then attack, you just need to clear the top left first fight. And then you speed in. Then you have ult. Second point, so you have so many different rotations. You can move point. Third point. Third point attack can be hard because it's just a wide open area. But even that is fine. I really think Shambhali is an insane run map. You know, like absolutely. Like I, I love some Bali for run. It's it's I I actually love the two newest map in OH2 are so fun. Like Shambali and Art Antarctica, these maps are so much fun to play, in my opinion. I love them. Really good job. Really, really good job. Okay, so that's every payload, every payload push hybrid. Now we just have the new game mode left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six maps in S tier, six maps in A tier, four in B, four in C, and one in D. Then we get on to my favorite game mode, push. Absolutely genius game mode. Then we go to New Queen Street. New Queen Street, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of S tier. Okay. I think it's the worst push map for Reinhardt, but it's still fine. It's really good. You stay point. Reinhardt is strong in every single push mode. Worst push mode for Ryan. You know, needs more T tier of maps? Not really, because T tier is don't play Reinhardt. T tier stands for no Ryan. I'll just rename it. No Ryan play. And then we go to the new mass maps. Esperanca. I like Esperanca. I personally like Esperanca a lot. I would put it over. I would put it here, yes. I don't think it's the best run map for push game mode. It's really strong, but if enemy has high ground, you have to retake. It can be hard, but I think it's still as tier. Very fun map. Win this map most of the time in ranked. Absolutely good map. And then the best run map in push, Colosseo. I would put Colosseo. I would put Colosseo. I would put it here. Yes. Honestly, I think Esperanca needs to be here to our King's Row. But Colosseo is the best push map for Ryan. You move point, you have so many walls, so many different moves. You speed on high ground, you hold space, you can contest. You know, if you watch my stream, you would know you can contest from the bridge on the payload as Ryan and you can't be moved. Is the sarcasm going on my head? What do you mean? No, this is an accurate tier list. Pu I think push is the best game mode in the entire game. If you don't like push, you just don't understand how to play the game mode. Like, a lot of people hate on push a lot of the time, but I truly believe that if you know, if you understand how push works, you wouldn't hate it. I don't think push deserves any hate. So this is the tier list. Every single push map, Ryan is got there. Like, Ryan is really fucking good on push, because he's just pressure the point. It's so strong. Ryan is incredibly strong on push. And then for my 2CP, guys, let me throw the 2CP into the garbage. Never come back, motherfucking horrible maps. But yeah, this is the tier list, guys. If you guys have any questions, you can free to ask me here. Or comments or something. Uh, yeah. It's all. There's the tier list. This is the most accurate Reinhardt map tier list ever done.